let's discuss about user event after submit entry point so for example let's say we are trying to create a new sales order or edit an existing sales order we fill out all the forms in the sales order like selecting the customer item sub list and all those stuffs and when we click save the data will be getting committed to our database after committing the data to the database we have our user event script on the netsuite application server which is after submit so after committing that data on the database our user event after submit will get triggered so usually when we save the sales order by default standard netsuite will send the sales order record in a view mode as a response but in this case if you want to do some kind of other options like send out an email you can do that or if you want to redirect to some other page you can make use of off user event after submit to do that now let's quickly take an example of a user event script currently i have only one entry point which is after submit all the entry points has been commented out and this after submit entry point i have a script context as an document which has access to the new record also the old record of the existing record Currently in my code, I just added one log dot debug which says after submit triggered, and it shows me the context type whether it is view, create, or edit something like that. And also, I am trying to get the entity value, which is the customer value from the current record. Since I am going to deploy this user event script on a sales order record, and also I have two logs, which is trying to make use of context dot old record and also the context dot new record. And also, I am trying to fetch the value of memo. Once my data is successfully saved. i will be trying to redirect it to a customer record and the customer record will be sales order customer record so let's upload this code to netsuite account i have successfully uploaded my file to my netsuite account and i also created the script record and this has been deployed on a sales order record and the script has also identified this as an after submit function now let's go ahead and test our sales order so to do that i already opened an existing sales order in a edit mode so right now in the memo field we have an value as empty which is an existing sales order let's update this as after submit test now let's click save on the sales order record as per our code after saving the sales order record we are redirecting it to the customer right now the customer is switch script a so once it successfully saves our after submit will trigger and it will redirect to our customer record now let's click save on this now we can see the transaction has been successfully saved and also it has redirected to our customer record of that particular sales order now let's go back to our script and let's click on the execution log and on the log we can clearly see after submit has been triggered on edit mode and the old value of the memo was empty and the new value which we passed was after submit test